You know, I really like tea. The year is 2021, and Adobe Flash has been discontinued. It is no longer available to be used in your browsers, and if you're keeping current with Windows 10 updates, it's no longer installed on your computer. Now, most of your favorite browser games have either been preserved in Flashpoint, or they've been transferred or remade in HTML, so most of browser games will run without Adobe Flash Player. But there's still a few that won't. What about Neopets? What about so many different games on OneMoreLevel.com? If I, per chance, say I want to play Electric Man 2, for example, and I click on it, I get this disturbing little message that says Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported. Well, what if I told you? that I can help you get Adobe Flash Player supported and working again. All right, maybe not supported, but I can at least get it so you can play your stupid games. Okay, so first order of business. You will find two links down below in the description. The first link is going to go to this Mega Drive folder. This is my Mega Drive folder, and I've uploaded a copy of Adobe Flash Player installer. Now, you might notice that this is an older version. This is 11.5 point whatever. Right, and you might be asking, Kess, why would you upload an outdated version of the program? Are you trying to give us an increased risk of viruses? No, it's just that on the newer versions of Adobe Flash, Adobe actually made it so that they wouldn't run. So, like, they updated the program so that it would still exist, but it still wouldn't run. I don't know why they even bother doing that, but basically I uploaded an older version to make sure it would work. So you're going to want to go ahead and download this to your computer. And as you can see, it'll download very quickly because it's only 15.6 megabytes large. If it says this type of file can harm your computer, just hit keep it. I'm doing this in Chrome, by the way. Most of you probably have Chrome. Okay, the second thing you're going to want to do is download a new browser. Chrome stinks. It doesn't support Flash. It's a dying browser. Nobody likes it. You need a new one. The new one is going to be Pale Moon. So this is a browser. It's basically a fork of uh, the same browser code that makes up Firefox. And as you can see down here in main features, past all this part that nobody gives a crap about, it says down here, will continue to support NPAPI plugins like Flash and Java. So you can have a current browser that still supports Flash Player on the websites that you love. So you're going to want to download for here. Um, if you use Windows, download Windows. If you download have Linux, download Linux. I use Windows like a real man. Okay, so... This tells you 32-bit or 64-bit. Most of you probably have 64-bit at this point. If you have an old computer and you only have 32-bit, use 32-bit. But if you have 64-bit, use 64-bit. Most of you just hit 64-bit. The server you choose doesn't matter. I'm going to do Europe because it says it's secure. <laughs> okay, so now we have Pale Moon and we have Adobe Flash Player. I'm going to go ahead and install Adobe Flash Player first, although the order really doesn't matter. Now... While Microsoft did remove Adobe Flash Player from being integrated with Windows 10 during an update, you can still install it as a third-party software, which is what we're going to do right now. Okay, it installs very quickly, as you can see. Currently installing. Okay, so when it finishes, it's going to ask you, it's going to say, do you want to allow updates? You do not want to allow updates because future updates break the program. So make sure you hit this button that says never check for updates not recommended screw you adobe you quit supporting flash we don't care about your stupid recommendations you then want to go ahead and install pale moon all right so you can just click right through this you can just go with standard it doesn't matter if you want to customize your install path then do that i don't give a crap okay so launch pale moon now it's going to launch pale moon as you can see it looks like a like internet explorer and firefox got together and then they had a baby, and the baby had a pet, and that's that's Pale Moon. Okay, so now you want to go to onemorelevel.com, and we're going to put slash game slash electric man 2. Oh, isn't that so nice? They knew exactly what I wanted right off the bat. Okay, now you get a different message this time around. It says this plugin is vulnerable and should be updated. Now, we could update that, but we're not going to. Instead, we're going to hit activate Adobe Flash, and up here it's going to say... It's prevented the outdated plugin from running, and you can put allow now. Oh, look at that. We can now play Electric Man 2. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tutorial. That is how you get Flash Player games working on Windows 10 in your browser once again. I hope you found this tutorial useful. The reason I decided to make it is I could not find one anywhere on YouTube, and I'm like, people need to know how to do this, so... I made one for you guys. You're welcome.
If you like this kind of stuff, uh, it's probably not the channel you want to subscribe to because I don't make a ton of guides very often. But if you, by chance, like completionist walkthrough stuff and you like a person with a really annoying sense of humor, maybe stick around for a while. Leave a like if this helped you. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite Flash game is. I Maybe I'll leave it a heart. Maybe, maybe I won't. You know, it's it's kind of luck of the draw. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming. It's been a tutorial on how to run Flash games in your browser in 2021, even though nobody wants you to. Until next time, I will see you all at the top. <laughs>